In the search for the perfect cold email software, do you find yourself overwhelmed by the options? We compared 30 plus cold email softwares, but only three had a perfect score. You'll find out which ones at the end, so stay tuned. Many think that any cold email software will do the trick, but the reality is not all tools are created equal, and the right choice can make a world of difference to your meeting booked and revenue numbers. Here's a 10 step checklist to ensure you pick the software that's tailor made for your sales needs. Since it's what I use in my own outreach, I'll use Lemlist as a real world example. So defining your outreach goals. First things first, is it lead generation, partnership building, or boosting direct sales? Your goals set the stage. They determine the kind of features you'll need from advanced segmentation to a warm-up tool to detailed tracking and reporting. Let's break down how different goals might influence your choice. So determining your cold email sending volumes, how many emails are we talking about? Some platforms are champions of high volume sending, while others shine in targeted low volume campaigns. HubSpot, for example, is a bulk campaign wizard, whereas something like Lemlist focuses on personalized outreach instead. Remember, the volume of your campaigns plays a significant role in choosing a tool that can handle your demand without a problem. If you're doing targeted, personalized outreach, we recommend not sending more than 30 emails per day per email address. If you want an open rate of 50 to 90%, you're gonna to need to stick to this limit pretty closely, especially for 2024. You'll also need a warm-up tool like Lemwarm that will warm up each email domain you use and help keep you out of the spam folder. The support team will also help with your technical setup, making sure you don't get banned and you have a dashboard to monitor your progress. Link in the description to try yourself. Then you have the non-negotiable features and functionalities. Based on your goals, compile a list of indispensable features that you can't do without. Do you need enrichment, good deliverability, access to a lead database for lead sourcing, the ability to scrape 2,500 leads from LinkedIn, automated LinkedIn steps? This is what you need to understand. 62% of you still use LinkedIn manually. If you are, there's 13 tools that can solve that problem. Just take a look here. I've been using Lemlist to automate LinkedIn connection requests and messages for the past nine months and I'm never going back. Now, some tools have inbuilt spam blockers, others don't, so be careful which one you choose, and connection requests, messages, profile visits are all possible. It blows my mind, to be honest, that teams still sit down and manually take hours to send LinkedIn steps because you really don't need to. Anyway, perhaps it's AI-generated icebreakers or maybe it's robust integrations with CRM. All of this is available with tools like Lemlist, as you can see on your screen. To help you see which tool has which, check out the table we made and read the article in the description below. Perhaps hyper-detailed reporting is top of mind. Often named like sales often outreach have good reporting systems just be prepared to pay a premium price also get used to doing linkedin steps manually and keep an eye on your deliverability that's all I'm saying. Set your budget. Budgeting is crucial. It's about finding a balance between cost and functionality. Sometimes a combination of lower cost tools and a supplementary platform offers the best bang for your buck. Most tools are $30 to $60 per month on average, except sales loft and outreach and ample market who don't share their pricing, but they do charge a premium. On the other end of the scale, Vocus Crew and SalesMate are very cheap indeed, around $15, which I thought was pretty cool. It means that there's something out there for whatever your budget is. Then it comes on to your skill level. Who's handling these tools? We need to match the software's complexity with your team's expertise. Do some digging into what users said about the tool and use the free trial to try it for yourself. Tools like Apollo have so many features, but don't expect a new BDR team to get the hang of them super quick. Then you need to think about scalability because growth may well be your goal. Your chosen software should grow with your business. You need to identify scalable solutions that support your expanding needs, preventing disruptive platform switches down the line. Important regulations, so staying compliant is non-negotiable. Making sure the software adheres to a essential regulations like the Can Spam Act and GDPR, as well as industry-specific legal requirements, safeguards your campaigns against legal pitfalls. A key component of that is data enrichment, making sure your data is accurate and GDPR compliant. Now, most providers still only have 30 to 65% accuracy in their enrichment, which you've probably seen yourself. Those with cascade enrichment, though, such as Lemlist, have about 80% accuracy on finding the emails. Some tools have completely free enrichment too, with certain packages, which can be cool if you're just starting out. Inbuilt email verification is a big plus for your deliverability too, so make sure it's there. If you want to find out how to find someone's email address for free, check this video right here. Then it comes on to customer support. Customer support can be a lifesaver. We can't understate the importance of a responsive support team, which give you quick solutions to any problems you may be encountering. Something that's super helpful and something I still use a lot is the FAQ, which our support team writes, and you don't want to choose a tool and then be left in the dark when you can't use a functionality or something stops working. So make sure that that's a priority. Free trials. Deciding if a free trial is essential. Yes.
it's essential. Why do you try clothes on before you buy them? Because they might not fit properly and you've wasted your time and money. Same with software. Everyone except Outreach, Buzz and Mailshake offers a free trial. Come on guys, no one likes a tight friend. So overall, try before you buy, simple as that. Finally, sync with your Outreach team, involve your team in the decision-making process because their insights are invaluable. It's really important to gather feedback from the front lines of your Outreach efforts, making sure the software meets their needs and enhances their productivity too. Just make sure Outreach teams know about the number one thing, email warm-up and technical setup because it's the number one thing that teams don't know about nowadays. Now, I've made a few videos on deliverability and it's the rarest feature across the board with software tools. And that's likely why so many of you have deliverability issues. I'm quite sure this isn't taken more seriously to be honest in the outbound community and big players like HubSpot, Apollo, Salesloft and Outreach don't have it integrated in their platform, hence higher average spam rates and lower open rates for their users. Although I've got to say, I think Apollo is starting one. Anyway, just a disclaimer. So make sure you sync with your outbound team, ops, growth, etc. so everyone is on the same page. You're now equipped with a strategic roadmap to choose the best cold email software for your sales campaigns. Don't forget to try Lemlist, one of the three tools with a perfect score. If you'd like to check the full blog and see the other two, the link is below. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights.